Oh, look what I have here. Yes. This is the brand new Mobius Models Batman kit, one eighth scale figure. This is, of course, the classic Adam West Batman 1966 series. Oh, and I've been waiting so long for this thing. Oh, look at that. That's a superhero, people. So, again, Mobius Models retails for $35 if you're interested. I'm not going to be able to start on this model for quite a while, so I decided to do a quick review. And, uh, you know, if you're interested, get one yourself and follow along when I start this, hopefully in a month or two. I already took all the pieces out of the bags so you can see things better. Uh, you get a very large base. The cool thing is, uh, over the next couple years as they release more and more figures uh, in this series the base is supposed to uh, form a giant Batman symbol so that's kind of neat. Uh, they have the Robin coming out next year I think Catwoman is supposed to be this year uh, still and then uh, the Joker the Penguin and the Riddler I think is the whole series I could be missing one but uh, I usually don't build, I've, well actually I've never built any plastic large figures because the details tend to be really soft on these and I really just never, never found anything appealing until this one. But there we go, there is our Adam West right there. We get individual pieces for the belts, we got the cowl. Um, this, the way this goes together should make it really easy or easier to paint because the face being an individual por portion so I can airbrush that before putting it into the cowl or the the hood area and then the cowl here is a separate piece that's a different color than the hood. Um, detail wise looks pretty good not horribly soft like some of the other Mobius kits I've seen mainly a lot of those have been more Aurora style so they're really soft um, but this does look pretty good. We got the Cape, all one piece, thankfully, so no huge mold lines to deal with. Flash is at a minimum, little little thing there, that's about it. There is a big seam line going down the center of the cape, though, uh, along the center. Um, luckily, you only have to really take care of the end bits here because the body is going to be pressed against this section here. You got the body. Again, fairly clean, not super detailed, but... Uh, and the collar is a little soft. I like a bit more. I may have to scribe in, get a bit more of a groove on it there. There's the hood cowl area. Oh, good. The face presses right into there. That'll be nice, easy to paint. The batarang, a very nice symbol. That's pretty crisp detail. And the legs and the arms. Not too many pieces here. And legs. Not much to say, really. I mean, it's not like he was covered in details on the original, the original outfit that he wore. I put one of the legs together just to show you seam line wise. I haven't done any cleanup on it though, but pretty significant gap there. A little bit better on the top of the thigh. So it's definitely going to take some a lot of putty work and everything, and sanding and putting and sanding and putting to get everything perfectly smooth. The seam lines will not, I will not stand for them. You do get a little bit of twine for the rope for the batarang. Not sure if I'll use this or not. I'll probably end up twisting my own out of wire. So it looks a bit more ropey. The, oh wait a minute. Oh good. You get the symbol for the chest as a decal. Oh and you get a little, uh, oh that's for the belt. The belt buckle is a uh, photo etch. Wait, is that? No, I'm sorry, that's not photo etch. That's just, uh, that's a sticker. Oh, I'm not happy about that. All right, well, that's a sticker. And the destructions. Again, really can't put this thing together wrong because it's just human anatomy. And there you go, there he is, all finished gives you, wow, it gives you an extremely basic paint guy. It doesn't tell you actual manufacturers model numbers for paints, just black, yellow, brown, black, yellow. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the uh, the base, how it goes together. So, oh, Batgirl. That's the one I missed. So, Batman, Robin, Batgirl, Riddler, Penguin, Joker, Catwoman. That's going to take up a lot of room in the display case. So, there you go. Again, just a quick look. Um, won't be starting on this anytime soon, unfortunately. And this is going to be a challenge because I've never painted a model, a human model, of this size. So, this is going to be interesting. I hope I don't blow it. But there you go. Again, classic Batman. Mobius models, about $35. And hopefully you'll be seeing this soon.